Bye. <laughs> Is it fun waving people? Yeah. We're gonna win the videos. <laughs> bye bye, have a good trip. <laughs> awesome. Oh, the glampers. Rental, 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 rental. Oh my goodness. Probably. That's a big rock. Does it, does it tell you about it? Did it fall down or something? Or? Hey, potty break. Go. Give me your water. Run. Jackson, run. Here we are at the Kenai Fords. Uh, Exit Glacier. We're going to do the hike here in a little bit, and it should be fun. The kids are getting backpacks so they can go on the uh, glacier and do exploration. This fact, this book is for everything that we can write about, about things that we see or hear or smell or how we feel. So then we can write about it at the end, and then we don't have to worry about how we write either. We can, write, we can, just, we can as long as we do our best. Okay? <laughs> hey mom! This is way more of a hiking. Ooh, that's a big step. Yes, there's probably a moose out here. It's uh, the wilderness. <laughs> it's the woods. Going down the path. Jackson, you behind me? You guys behind me? Let's do this path here. It's not a hike? This is like a hike, huh?
Hi. So uh, this weekend we went camping at the Moose Pass Campground. It's along the Seward Highway. They have uh, electric sites and uh, non-electric sites. Uh, they got a web page. You can check out the prices, but not too bad. Over here is what kind of some of the sites look like. We got uh, fire pits and the numbered sites one, two, three, etc. They're all electric sites, so you do have power. There is no dump station here, and there is no fresh water. So you need to make sure you bring all that in here so you have what you need. But the nice thing is you're not on gravel, and yes, you have uh, grass to camp on, and there's actually some trees. Okay, conveniently close to Seward, only about a half an hour drive. You got Essex Glacier, you got fishing charters, uh, sightseeing, just, just all kinds of things you can do in this area. You're only about 30 miles away, you can make a re reservation. So if you're worried about getting a spot, you can just come in here. You can actually rent out the whole facility for $300 per night. So if you have a big gathering of people you want to come down with, you can come down here together and have the whole spot to yourself. I mean, some of these sites out here are pretty spacious. I mean, he came back here. It's really a neat site. Come back to got a big area. Another another lettered site. So this is a uh, no power, but it'd be perfect for tent camping. I actually might come back here again and tent camp with my buddy. Let him know about it. It's a nice little spot. I consider this a gem because I don't think a lot of people come here. They they go all the way down to Seward and forget about coming up. Another uh, lettered site, so those are non-power sites, which I mean, you could put a a camper on these sites without power. Might want a generator. You can move this high camp. This is an iron. Probably put a pretty good size on those smaller trailers. Yeah. It's like an arc camp. Yeah, you class. could definitely get some trailers in here. We could fit our trailer almost any of these sites. Except for K. <laughs> We're not fitting K. K is a deep camp site. Yeah. Oh yeah, we can definitely jeep camp here, buddy. 